lucky. Handsome dogs going for a ride in the element. We're gonna do the nature trail, right guys? Do the nature trail. Yeah. What you see, Kay? You like riding in the back where you can see out? Huh? Whoop. Must be a cat out there. What you see, guys? Whoop. KK might have seen the postman. This is the bark of a very old willow tree um, that's tumbled down over the trail here, the nature trail, city nature trail down by Scipio Creek. And uh, believe it or not, you see those long thin leaves, the willow's still alive, but it's Full, its weight is folding in on itself, but this this bark is incredible. The willow is a pioneer species. It's one of the first ones to establish trees to to establish uh, an area when um, when there's sufficient dry land, like along river banks and so on. It's one of the first to establish on any dry land that appears. And so I'm looking all the way back down over there to where it, the base of its trunk is, which is a good 20 feet away. And uh, we see this trumpet vine right here climbing up it. But it, uh, it's just folded at the base right down here. It's rotted on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, but has basically just folded over, but it's still alive. Here we are, another shot of the willow tree that's laying over the nature trail. And there's my companion. My husband Mike's gone on, but this little canid of mine, he's not going to leave Mama. No, no way. Got to keep the pack together. It's a nice cool spot. It's like August 6th and we got a breeze blowing through the, the trees here and when you come up this ramp here that leads to the platform, the overlook at the end, you can really come to appreciate uh, and it goes, goes up, up grade and incline. You can really appreciate why the uh, Native Americans in this part of the uh, of Florida and elsewhere in Florida uh, built these big mounds because at this elevation, as soon as you get 10 to 12 feet off the ground, which we are here, then you uh, it's much much cooler. Yeah, I'm looking down and I'm about eight. No, I mean, excuse me, I'm probably about 10 feet off the ground here. And there's Mike down there, further on down the nature trail with Mellow. Think it's going to storm again. Okay, Mike's holding the first bee balm of the season. It's August 6th? 7th. 7th. Um, 2011 and we're at the Apalachicola Nature Trail down by Scipio Creek and we're, we spied our first bee balm of the season right in here. In a, in a month or so or a couple months, usually in usually uh, end of September we really see a lot of bee balm in here. All This is an old spoil site where they dump spoil after they dug out um, Scipio Creek Marina, the city marina for the shrimp, where the shrimp boats are, are moored. They, they pulled, uh, they took a lot of spoil out and dumped it here and it became like a little, uh, scrub ecosystem here amongst the floodplain. And, uh, it's a little higher elevation and all this K 
cat briar grew in here, so it's a great place. The cat briar uh, is a great place for the um, bee balm to grow, and it's can't really see it now, but when it starts blooming, it'll be all amongst this cat cat bar here, and it smells wonderful to walk through here in the morning. It's August 7th, and I'm standing beneath a, uh, I think it's Borbonia, uh, I'm not sure what the Latin name is, but it's a uh, red bay, or sweet bay, bay tree in the same family as the magnolias. You see the leaves, distinctive leaves, but anyway it also gets very similar little cones as the magnolia, only much much smaller. And uh, right now they've all fallen off kind of at once and they're on the ground at the bo boardwalk, on the boardwalk here. KK's gonna help us find it. Here's some right here, but uh, Here's, uh, here's what they look like. Kind of interesting spiral pattern to it that I haven't noticed in the other bays. So there it is. That? Yeah, that's a Carolina Wren. next to it so you can tell what size it is. Much smaller than magnolia seed pods. Thank you. 